This video will discuss the rotational partition function of molecules in statistical mechanics. So the model system for a rotating diatomic molecule from quantum mechanics is called the rigid rotor. You can see all about that in the quantum mechanics playlist, but for now we'll just be discussing the results. So we have two atoms here of mass one and mass two. They're at some fixed bond length r apart from one another and we want to know what is the partition function of this system. So to do that, we need to get the Boltzmann factors of all of them, e to the minus uh, beta ei, beta being 1 over kt, so we need the energy levels of all the energy, uh, all the individual states here. So for a given diatomic molecule, the energy is a function of a quantum number j, which starts at 0 and goes up to infinity. Uh, and it equals h bar squared. h bar is Planck's constant divided by 2 pi. h bar squared over 2 times the moment of inertia of the molecule. Moment of inertia being the reduced mass times the bond length squared, units of kilograms meter squared and SI units. And the reduced mass being the product of the two masses, m1 times m2, divided by their sum, m1 plus m2 kilograms for SI units. So the energy is equal to h bar squared over 2i quantum number j times j plus 1. This is also equal to hb times j times j plus 1 or hcb bar times j times j plus 1 where b is the rotational constant in hertz Planck's constant divided by 8 pi squared moment of inertia or h over 8 pi squared mu r squared and b bar is the rotational constant in wave numbers inverse centimeters which is h over 8 pi squared ci, or h over 8 pi squared c mu r squared. Um, each of these energy levels has a degeneracy that is 2j plus 1. So the ground state is singly degenerate. The first state is triply degenerate, 5-fold, 7, 9, 11, etc. as you go up. So before we define our partition function, we're going to define another quantity called the rotational temperature. So Q theta rot is equal to HB over Boltzmann constant KB, or equal to HCB bar over K, which the Boltzmann constant in wave numbers is 0 0.695 wave numbers per Kelvin. So we have B bar over 0 0.695 is our rotational temperature. The typical values of rotational constant you expect for diatomic molecules is about 1 to 10 wave numbers. So it's in the microwave region of the electromagnetic spectrum. So B bar, so for theta rote, you're typically expecting values that are on the order of 10 Kelvin or so for diatomic molecules. All right, so our rotational partition function is a sum over all of our energy levels of their degeneracy, 2j plus 1, times their Boltzmann factor, e to the minus e over kt, which is e to the minus theta rote over t times j times j plus 1. So if you take hcb bar j times j plus 1, theta rot equals hcb bar over k, that gives you e to the minus theta rot over t j times j plus 1. Now, uh, just as with our translational partition function, sums are hard, but integrals are easier. So we want to replace that sum with an integral. So our rotational partition function is approximately the integral from 0 to infinity with respect to quantum number j of 2j plus 1 times e to the minus theta rot over t, j times j plus 1. So this is going to be a valid integral if our temperature is much greater than the rotational temperature. So as I said, you typically expect values that are on the order of, say, 5, 10, 20 Kelvin for theta rot. So if we're doing our typical looking at this at around 300 Kelvin, we're usually uh, more than okay for most uh, typical molecules. But you would have trouble if you wanted to do this for uh, 20 Kelvin, usually. And, great, and much greater than usually means uh, bigger by about a factor of 10. All right, so how are we going to solve this integral? So this integral can be solved by substitution. So we can say x equals j times j plus 1. Then dx equals 2j plus 1 times dj. So this is j squared plus j. Derivative of that is 2j plus 1. So dj equals dx over 2j plus 1. That results in this integral where our 
partition function is approximately the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus theta root x over t dx. The integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus kx is 1 over k. So this is t over theta root. All right, so that is our rotational partition function, the temperature divided by the rotational temperature. Uh, there's one other factor to take into note here before we have our final result, and that's this value called sigma. Um, sigma is called the symmetry number, and this just accounts for the fact that if our molecule has symmetry, we're overcounting some regions of, the, of, our, of our integral here. I'm not going to go into the details of where and why this comes from a whole lot, but basically the, the symmetry number for homonuclear diatomics is going to... Wait, I have those reversed. I need to switch that. There we go. So the symmetry number for homonuclear diatomics is 2, and the symmetry number for heteronuclear diatomics is 1. Uh, for polyatomic molecules, it gets more complicated what that value is. So for a general diatomic or linear molecule, we have the rotational partition function, if the temperature is much, much greater than the rotational temperature, is equal to t over sigma theta rot. So if we substitute in what the value of theta rot is, which is hb over k, that's equal to kt over sigma hc b bar. If we substitute in the value of b bar as being h over 8 pi squared ci, or 8 pi squared c mu r squared, uh, the value is 8 pi squared mu r squared kt over sigma h squared, which is why it's much easier to express it in terms of t over sigma theta rot. So that's the model for diatomic or linear molecules. Uh, in general, what you get for nonlinear polyatomics is this gets slightly more complicated, but we can understand why. So for diatomic molecules, you have two rotations, and they are degenerate, and they result in this value here. For polyatomic molecules, this theta rot gives us three different uh, rotational temperatures. Instead of having a single moment of inertia, well, we have our three principal moments of inertia, which are, uh, which are just based off of the structure of the molecule. So we have three different rotational temperatures based off of three different rotational constants. And our rotational partition function for a general nonlinear polyatomic is 1 over sigma square root of pi t cubed over theta a, theta b, theta c. And these theta a, theta b, theta c values you can compute them, but it's a, rather, it's, it's a somewhat complicated calculation. But more generally, what you would do is just look up in tables what these values are for a given nonlinear polyatomic molecule.